Some of you are uh, probably thinking, oh, he had cancer. What a poor guy. But the opposite is true. I owe everything to cancer. In fact, without it, I wouldn't be on TEDx. <laughs> you know, all my life I was an actor and a comedian. And as much as I tried, and believe me, I tried, I never performed in front of such a large audience. This is, this is incredible. <laughs> Thank you. It's incredible. What took Jerry Seinfeld 20 years of hard work, I achieved just in one month of losing my health. <laughs> Today I would like to talk to you about um, one of the greatest crises of my life, cancer. Uh, which I overcame by using humor. Uh, because I truly believe that there is a huge difference, a huge difference between a sick person and a person with a sickness. Just as I believe that there is no separation between body and soul. Uh, now, uh, I'm aware that the word cancer is a difficult one for some people, so um, with your permission, from now on I will call it Simon, if there's anybody here by that name, please don't take it personally. <laughs> um, it's been um, almost four years since I've been cured. And I, I must say, I must say I'm lucky to be here. Really lucky. With all the treatments I went through, uh, bone marrow transplant, CTs, uh, radiology, my, my body is presently full of radiation. L l let me give you an example. Um, excuse me, miss, uh, may I see your cell phone, please? Thank you. I noticed your battery is almost empty. No, don't worry. Here, it's full now. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You know, people, people ask me all the time, all the time, after all you went through, how, how can you laugh about it? And to that I say, what is the option? But is it better to be depressed? You know, after surrendering my body and soul to the doctors, the, the only thing that left me was my choice as how to face the situation. Simon was already there. Isn't it better to look for the benefits? And I had good reasons to be depressed, really good reasons. I was diagnosed at stage four. I had children, Simon, which statistically attacks kids up to 18 years of age. And I somehow got it at the age of 31. My illness started with a huge growth of 20 centimeters in my belly. It's, it's something this big. I didn't need a surgeon. I needed a midwife. <laughs> and I was terrified and confused. And I decided to do two things. First, I took a camera and videoed everything. And second, I tried to laugh as much as possible. And my decision to take control on the situation helped me deal with the trauma. And, and after four months of sickness, I felt great, really great. It even showed up in the treatment as the tumors got smaller. I felt alive again, really alive. And to ensure that it wasn't just an illusion, I went to see my oncologist. Oh, 
מה שלא טוב זה שאנחנו עכשיו, כשאנחנו משווים את הדיסקים, אנחנו רואים שהיו יותר משלושת הגופים שדיברנו עליהם בהתחלה. רואים שבאגן יש נגע אחד, מה היה בערך אחד וחצי או שניים סנטימטר. בדופן הבטן יש איזה נגע, ובעוד שני מקומות ככה, בשומן של הבטן, בתוך הבטן יש שומן, יש עוד איזה שני נגעים. בערך עוד ארבעה נגעים שלא ראו אותם בפט סיטי, כשמסתכלים עכשיו על הסיטי כן רואים אותם. מה זה אומר? זה אומר... שהמצב לא טוב. בלשון המעטה. זה הופך את המחלה למחלה גרורתית. זה כבר לא האחוזים שנתתי לך בהתחלה. was the worst experience of my life. Try to imagine the situation. One moment, she's telling me that there's a huge improvement. I, I was on top of the world. I, I was sure I'm going to heal. A second later, she's telling me that there are metastases that Simon had spread. I realized that there is a good chance that I might die. And I started asking myself, why? Why is this happening to me? Why do I deserve this? I was crushed. I went back home and I didn't get out of bed for an entire week. At this very moment, if I hadn't collected all my strengths to do my best to laugh, I I'm sure I, I wouldn't be here with you today. Even at my lowest point, I, I did my best to look at everything with humor, because humor supports your soul, and it gives you hope. It also allows you to laugh more often, and th this is very important. When you laugh, your brain releases endorphins that changes the chemistry in your body. So even if you know you are lying to yourself, physically, you are actually healing yourself. Humor and laughter are, are the winning combination. Humor is a way of looking at life. And laughter is the catharsis. What made it hard for me to laugh uh, were people who had just heard about my Simon, and they had only one thought in mind, death. For example, my friend told me, after I heard about your situation, I, I took out all the photos we took together, and I remembered how you used to be a funny guy and full of energy with passion for life. And I was like, man, I'm still here, okay? I'm alive. <laughs> like, if Simon doesn't kill you, your friends will. <laughs> Even the doctor stressed me out. Just before my operation, the surgeon came to me and said, this is going to be a very long operation. Very long. Why are you telling me this? I'm going to be asleep. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the information, doctor. I'll bring a book. <laughs> it should take seven hours, and it's very, very complicated. Very complicated. Ah, complicated? Okay, well, if you need me, just wake me up. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I would have done anything to survive, really, anything. I, I was desperate, and I started asking people for advice. And listen, be careful about listening to advice, okay? <laughs> no, really, there are people with good intentions, but let me just tell you about it. When I just got sick, a young, healthy woman came to me and said, listen, Put turmeric in everything you eat. I was like, turmeric? She said, yes, curcumin. 
It's a spice, and it's a remedy against Simon. Listen, from that moment, I put turmeric in everything that entered my mouth. A month later, I went to see a naturopathic doctor, and she told me, you can eat whatever you want, just not turmeric. <laughs> it activates the sword of Simon you have. And I was like, now you're telling me? I, I have a factory of turmeric in my belly. <laughs> but in spite of what I went through, I found many benefits in having Simon. Sound ridiculous? Yeah? I'll name some. First, medicinal marijuana. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! I never believed I could have so many friends. <laughs> Even my grandma would call in the middle of the night. <laughs> Second, I'm much, much lighter nowadays. <laughs> much, much lighter. Because they removed so many of my body parts. <laughs> It's, it's my spleen, uh, half of my pancreas, uh, my abdomen shell. In short, they left me with my stomach and my rectum. <laughs> therefore, therefore, there's no chance I'll ever have Simon again. He has nothing to hang on to. <laughs> Third, and most important, really most important, family and friends. Thank you. It's amazing, really. When you have Simon, everybody is there for you. Family and friends, they, they work for you, serve you 24-7. They pay for everything. Basically, they become your slaves. <laughs> you know, sometimes, really, I thought about just giving up, but with so many people invested in me, dying just wouldn't be politically correct. <laughs> although, although, there is a disadvantage uh, to this uh, specific advantage. When I finally got a clean bill of health, all the pampering and, and attention just stopped. Everybody got back to their lives, and, and the focus was no longer on the most important thing, me. <laughs> like, hello, I still have side effects. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'm healthy, and yes, I'm alive. But this is not the real victory. The real victory is that I lived every day with humor. Even if I had died, I would have won, because I would have died laughing. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to take you to the moment that I found out that I was cured. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is what I'm doing now. Um, I stayed alive to tell you and, and pass on to the world that humor helped me beat Simon. But I truly believe that Simon is, 
is no different from our daily challenges. They, they are all just little Simons, and it's up to us how we respond to them. And you don't have to be a comedian or an actor in order to do that. All you need to do is change your attitude. Thank you. Thank you.